So I just chuck my GoPro away, dive under the water, swim down I'm like, please, please, no body, please, no body, because that would just be the, the, my worst nightmare ever come true. cooking up a bit of a brekkie. We're getting fueled up because we're going on a hike. We're gonna end up at an amazing lookout. Think you're uh oh you heading up there? Just making sure the lights bulbs in there so like ships don't crash and stuff. Just just regular maintenance. Fixing crew. Yeah. Uh, picture evidence that we did our job. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it up, up to this lighthouse, the peak of the Bruce Peninsula, and there is a crazy sunset here. Way to go, Brooke! First crane-ish thing. <laughs> there Shoot. You want to explain what just happened? Just so we're, we're shooting stars up on the lighthouse way up there, getting some killer shots, and then all of a sudden, this like red flame appeared in the sky, and I thought. Maybe there was a bushfire going on. But sure enough, the moon started to rise and it was like a blood red moon. You can kind of see it now. It's still orange and reflecting off the water. And we're gonna try and shoot this. I'll flash up the um, result now. Hopefully it looks good. I know that you meant it. That you meant it. <laughs> You know, we're just doing the morning washing. We've had a good amount of food. Mmm. We'll clean up after ourselves, you know? Yeah, you know, eh? So we're beginning our day two hike to the grotto. Bruce Peninsula Trail, and it ends up at a underwater cave, which you can swim under, which is awesome. And there's a bunch of lookout points along the way. So beautiful, the water's so clear. I'm getting pretty excited for it. Like, need your hands for you. Look at that water quality. I mean, look at that water clarity. The quality is probably pretty good too, though. That is probably a high alkalinity level. High pH. I would, I would drink it. These ginormous grains of sand. Like, sand castles suck. Like, they just fall over. They're not, like... <laughs> this just really hurts your back, like, but, I mean, it's alright, it's but pretty they're good. good. they're good if you want to get the excess skin off the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What crew are you guys? We're with the Tim Hortons Children Foundation. We're doing a hike for three days. Whoa. Yeah. Midday nice. break. But. Nice. We started today's hike at 4 p.m. and it is just under a 5k hike and it suggested it takes three hours. <laughs> Once we arrive, and then come back, it's gonna be very late. If we shoot the whole way, it'll take four. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> you might think it's an animal. <laughs> Brooke, would you want a dog like that? Me? Yeah. Um, if Conrad died and I had no one else, sure, I'd have a dog like that. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad, stick around. Use bear poles to hang out and store food out of reach of animals. What the hell is a bear pole? <laughs> and why are we walking at dusk? <laughs> so nags, love it. So we've been hiking for two hours and so dry, but luckily I brought my roasted almond Nature Valleys and as you know these things are the driest. Like and subscribe to Nature Valley. They support all my journeys. 
<laughs> so dry. There he is. There's a loon. You oh, show what are you talking about? Oh, oh hey, oh, he's showing off now, way there, hey, man. Maybe it's Australian. Oi, 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 mate. Get the f out of here, eh? You, what the f? <laughs> yeah, mate, I'll probably get you one day. You just smack. <laughs> no one understood anything he said, so it's fine. Not to worry about it. And they proceeded to jump from up there, over the tree, over that little rock, and into the water. QB roll. And then they gave me the camera and said, hey, why don't you just film it? Why don't you just take a few quick snaps? And I'm a bit, I'm a bit hesitant. Off. I'm a little bit hesitant and Brooke's looking at me going, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to get myself sucked here, and my number one fan's oi, like, oi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, It scared me the most when Robbie was warming up to do it, and we're practicing on this ledge, and he's like, okay guys, I'm totally ready to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and he tripped on the ledge in warm up no, on I the still, ground. I still went over here. <laughs> so then that's when I got a little bit nervous. What did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> he just took a big step and boom. <laughs> He's free balling now. <laughs> Cause I'm free. Free, free balling. Day on. Is this your BFM tap? Actually, no way. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so Actually. good. Yeah. We so, gotta get something like this. Yeah, sure. We totally gotta get something. <laughs> 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 We just like we started. Our no, you guys are married. We are gonna be. Okay, so we're at. Yeah, so we we can't be counted. Yeah. 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 So we have made it finally to the grotto after a long, long day of hiking, and. Check it out, it's so sweet. There it is. Although it's like 7.30 or something, maybe later, and it's freezing cold, so I don't think I'm going swimming. But we did meet two ladies along the way, and they have a campsite like 20 minute walk away from here. So it's awesome. We don't have to walk back to our car. We can just take their car, go get our car, come back, stay the night, and in the morning, hopefully the weather's good, and we can swim here when the weather's better. And we can swim underneath here because that's the really cool part of it catch you guys later so this is our third and final day here in Tobamori and lots and lots of people here See? but for a good reason because it is stunning out here all right enjoy some of this footage Wow, so swimming under the grotto was crazy. It was like on the way out, it was really, really blue and light, and then we got to go down pretty deep. Then we got up to the other side, the three of us made it, and then we decided we're gonna take a, about a minute rest and then go back. So all three of us took a deep breath, went back under the water cave, and then we're going through and it was really dark heading back in, so it was super sketchy, and we're like, oh my goodness, this is dark, and I had the GoPro pull, and I was like not even caring about filming, I just wanted to get there. And then, we pop up and I was like, yeah, Conrad, that was sick. And give a high five. And we're like, well, we got that. And then we look around and we're like, man, where's Robbie? We're looking, we're waiting. It's like three seconds go past, which feels like three minutes. And I'm like, that's it. I'm going back underneath there, check if he's hit his head and he's floating out of the cave. So I just chuck my GoPro away, dive under the water, 
swim down like please please nobody please nobody because that would just be the, the my worst nightmare ever come true and luckily nobody there I haven't seen the GoPro footage yet but you might be able to see him turn around I was about a quarter of the way I looked up and I was like yeah no and just booked it the other way upside down yeah Grotto Adventures Phew. what we all made out alive we yeah. cliff jumped, we droned, we stayed in the lighthouse, and we're all safe and good to go. Ouch.